Hey, it's Russell Lovers, Mark and Todd here from Whole Lotte Love. And Todd, we recently took a trip to the ECM Profitech factory uh, outside of Milan in Italy. We met with Michael Hauck there, who you're going to hear from in a moment. Yeah, it was a great time. We got to see how they make the machines, how they design them, and all the engineering and the special designs that Michael puts into his machines and all the care. He's really involved, and we get involved too. Now, one thing you are really involved with, and you're going to hear some more about this, is a steam pressure upgrade with some of their machines for you get industry-leading steaming performance, right? Yeah, and these machines now, the Pro 700 by Profitech, the ECM Synchronica, and the Pro 600, you can get almost two bars of steam pressure on these machines. We were asking for higher steam pressure, we were in conversation with them, and they did it. So let's now go to the factory and hear from Michael uh, about his machines and his philosophy. It's, it's passion about coffee, like, like I have passion about coffee, so um, I, I like to design things, I like to look at things, I like to see what, is, what, the, what are the markets need. There's a nice story that we have a customer from, from Denmark and uh, he was preparing his coffee and was, was looking on his watch and, and, and was doing that and I said, yeah, but this we could do, integrate in the machine. And you, don't, you don't need to have your watch next to it and prepare your coffee. And uh, yeah, I'm quite involved in doing that and uh, getting new ideas done. And uh, with my colleague Tiziano, we, we, we manage this, yeah. Like we received a lot of requests, especially from Todd, like he was talking with me via Skype quite a lot and saying, yeah, we, how can we improve the machine? How we can have a better steaming performance? First, I thought, okay, we have a really good steamer in comparison to the competition. But uh, of course, then think about increasing boiler size. Okay, we are a bit limited with the space going up with pressure. It worked out very well and I think Todd likes the machine and uh, we are in regular contact and, and, and he gives me feedbacks, what to look at. I'm not only concentrate on the outside of the machine, make the machine more nicer from the, from the body, from the, from the shape or something like that, uh, but only also thinking about how we could improve, questioning more about the products, why we have done this this way and why we not make it more cleaner and line out. It's a general process what we do. Like the, the latest with the expansion valve, easier to open it with the screw and uh, a small gasket instead of gluing uh, 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 a screw inside and difficult to open it, so small things. Like we use the same kind of heavy crew pads, the FAEMA style crew pads, and uh, these are pieces which are, you find on commercial machines too. Like the sizes of porta filters, like it's not something uh, really uh, yeah, small, uh, laid out, domestic. It's something for, for having a machine for, for 10, 12, 20 years. I don't like to stop where we are, like I like to improve always the product. As we also do the service uh, locally only, like, like we have customers, dealers who are not having our own service, we are, we, are, we are more carefully, I think, in thinking about positioning of parts, uh, in thinking of, of the line out of the machine, like uh, where we place the boilers, how easily we can open the machine, how easily we could do, do the service, because this is, in the end, this is what we also do, and this is also what our customer, our dealers, this is what do. And uh, like uh, thinking about where the wiring goes on the boilers, how to make it as nice, not only from the outside, also from the internal. This is where we are strong in, and of course, um, yeah, we have a good line of, of, of machines, like starting with uh, single boiler machines and going up to the dual boiler machines. So we cover a bit of more or less everything, yeah. Uh, we do it with passion, we'd like to improve the products, and the first thing is we want to make a great product, which the customer has at home, and likes to use it and, and say, okay, this is the machine we have picked because, yeah, they, they, they really thought about what they are doing. Like the porta filters, they are having a weight, like they are weight balanced. The expansion valve, like they can adjust the pressure without opening a machine on the vibration machines. Like they have a stainless steel mushroom. Now, also competition has launched this in their ranges. So, so uh, but we have done this first. We have done this because we service machines, we receive machines. Uh, in service and we had the problems that on the mushroom of the E61 they are rare. the chrome was uh, going off because calcium was sticking so close to that and it was tearing out of that. Not from the outer shelf but inside and of course it was something which we have done in 2010. Like we have customers who, who bought a new machine, like not from us but from dealers and they gave the their older machine like which they used to use for 10-12 years, gave to their children. Uh, like ECM started in 1995 and uh, we started doing our own machines in 2005. And a certain 
period in time we decided in concentrate only on one brand, that was ECM, because we wanted to have the maximum control of the parts and pieces which we use and the quality. Two production plants, like one is in Milan, like in Piotello. This is where we produce the most domestic machines, like where we have the small Casa machines, like the single boiler machines to the Synchronica, the dual boiler. And then we have in Germany uh, a production plant where we produce uh, some domestic, like the Pro 700s, a part of the Synchronica 800 we produce there, commercial machines and the grinders. Like all our, like me and also my colleagues which are working for ECM and for the Profitech brand, we all do this with passion. So you can see the passion that Michael has for his machines, both inside and out, and all those little innovative things that he does to make them a top quality machine. They, they really, really are. I mean, Michael's really a leader in the espresso machine field, and I know you really love his machines. I do. You know, I'm a tech guy, so when I get inside, I love it there. But also, we look at the outside, and we all love it there. All right. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure and subscribe to our channel if you like this sort of stuff. And we do hope you'll come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love. Oh.